Okay, so hello everybody, my name is Link7 and this is a speedrun of Banjo Kisui. Uh, I'll be doing the 100% category, uh, which includes getting pretty much all the collectibles in the total selection screen. So the fastest movement in this game is. Uh, is talent rod, um, but we don't have that yet. So when we can't use talent rod or in shorter distances, when it won't um, saving time because it takes a second to do the animation to go into talent rod, I'll simply be doing uh, a rolls and then double flaps out of it. So coming up now is the first uh, trick in the game, if you can't away the uh, glitch is set up before the run. And this is gonna be, um, this is bottle skip. It's very similar to how lack to skip works in uh, SM64. Pretty much there is a trigger up here on this plateau. Got it. So there is a trigger up on that plateau uh, for bottles to pretty much tell you some shenanigans before entering the cave for the first time. Um, but if you land in right in the few pixels of that corner, um, I do not hit the trigger and I can just jump over him into the cave. So right there also, uh, there's a, a cutscene I was supposed to watch. But there's actually a built-in feature in the game, which you don't really know in casual play. Uh, that if you have be uh, watched that uh, cutscene in a file already, um, and you hover over it in the menu, uh, you can actually just hold start and you will skip it. Yeah, uh, there's some background noise. There's a um, there's a um, game in the background, and then there's also um, a movie and this music in general. It's pretty loud background noise. I hope it's um, fine still. So right now, when I entered this world, I got. Uh, I'm supposed to go and get all the moves, but because of the glitch I did before the run, the Furnace Fun moves glitch, um, I'll be able to start using the moves I had in old file, which includes Talent Rod. Um, oops. And in the world, there's of course a lot of collectibles, so I'll be getting all 100 notes, all 10 jiggies, and uh, stuff like that. You do not need to get all the Mumbo tokens, because they're not counted in the total screen. So right there is another trick, and this is the Termite Tower Skip. Uh, normally we need to be uh, transferred into a Terminite, 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 and um, uh, by trading in 5 Mumbo Tokens to Mumbo. And um, that's very slow, and also that's, uh, you need to go around and collect 5 Mumbo Tokens. Um, but on the 1.0 version of this cart, you can actually, you actually have a few frames, you can be on the platform before it slips off. Um, they all do the patch this on a second version, which is a 1.1. Uh, and if you want to know, if you want to try this coach yourself, uh, which version you have, you can look at the back of the cart, and you'll have like a few numbers imprinted on the bottom right corner, I think it is. And if you do have a uh, a letter behind the numbers, then you have 1.1. If not, you have a 1.0. No. 
Surrender is one of the moves that I did not have in the setup file before the run. Um, and the reasoning why we don't want it, because technically it should be faster. Since, uh, since I need to talk to him. Um, every time you learn a move as a reward... Hello? There you go. Uh, as a reward, you do get um, half of the max cap, so we do get 50 eggs. Um, and it takes a lot of time to go around and collect eggs, so it just makes more sense to have a setup file without it. The record is by Stev and it's a 205. I'm not close to that level, but um, hopefully I can still put up a pretty decent run and a good show for you guys. Because the point is to show the run off. Yo, what's up? Yeah. So this uh, game, uh, or this run, is very much uh, optimization on movement, and uh, there's a few tricks here and there, but it's fairly straightforward in the 100% run at least. Um, and there's a lot of small movement things you might not think about as a viewer, but that actually stacks up. So one thing that is going to um, come up right now, if I can get it, is a quick dive. So I'll be landing on the slope, and then I'll be start to quitting Talent Rod while I slip off. And if you enter water while in an while you're in an, an un uninterruptible animation, you will just dive to the ground. Yes. Okay. So that is a cutscene skip. I jump down in the water right while I pick up the tenth jiggy right there, and that will allow me to collect the tenth jiggy. And that's very important because there's a quite of a long animation dan uh, with Banji kind of dancing around um, to be happy that it collected all 10 jiggies in the world. So right there I abused the, uh, slope, uh, the slope fixes in this game. Kind of the way I did it in the Termite Tower. And it'll be used a lot through the run. So, kind of how it works is you can imagine it as being a timer that from when you land on it um, there is an X amount of timer until you slide off, but if you jump off, uh, like away from the object, uh, so not even a shadow is on top of it, the timer will kind of, if you can imagine, it will kind of reset, and um, because of that you can jump onto it and away from it, and you can climb up slopes. Yeah, uh, Lador, there's a couple of uh, other stuff going on right now, specifically a Twitch party. So, uh, Chris and those left, but uh, it's okay. And I'm sorry for my voice, by the way, I'm a little, um, I'm a little bit of a cold going on. guy
So this is uh, the second movie you're actually gonna learn, which you did not have uh, in the pre-made file. And it's for the same reason that you get you get awarded 25 feathers when you learn it. Uh, so that was um, a little sloppy, but I kind of the same deal. Uh, I did not go off a slope there. I kind of just walked off the ledge at the same time. I um, released C and I was uh, leaving Talentrod. Come on. Dang it. If you're really lucky, you can uh, stand on the position where the Jiggy is about to spawn and you can pick it up earlier in the cutscene. But that's okay. It's only a few seconds. Okay, good. So the flying section is definitely one of the harder sections in this game. It's very, uh, it's, it takes a lot of practice to get used to flying in this game. One thing that actually does help, which they don't mention any time in the game, is that you can actually hold the R button and you have better control while flying and swimming. Um, but it's still, it's still kind of hard to do the flying sections, but it does help a lot. Nice camera. So these stairs right here are known in the speedrun community to be like really horrible. They're um, for some reason they are very their hitboxes and like how you walk on them and especially the sides uh, where the notes are is really really weird. Am I missing a note? Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. So, um, the fastest way is to actually uh, be able to fly out of that cave. But um, I was at least able to pick up the GG itself while I was flying, which skips the uh, the kind of like small dance animation. So it's still pretty okay. Oh wow, really? gonna take up some extra life for safety. Ha <laughs> ha! 
good. Okay. So right there, I did a setup and shot three eggs and then it went away. And you only actually need to hit him with two, but for safety, I shot three. And that's uh, that can sometimes troll you need to go down. So I actually stopped, but I got it, so it's pretty nice. This is a fairly annoying flying section as well. Um, specifically because if you do miss one of these notes, picking it up afterwards can be really annoying because you can kind of just fly around in circles around it. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> oh no. I, I can't see shit. Okay, let's get that later. I'm actually gonna start off by getting this. So I can reset the camera too. I'm really good on feathers because I picked up a lot. So, I'll be good. Got it. So you're just gonna spell out Banji Kisui on the floor. Oh. Yeah. And I'm actually, um, my goal here, if I get it, is that I'm gonna be picking up the Tanjugi and then hopefully have the, this crab under me. Uh, so I can land them in so I die right when I land Because good. so if I do that um, I it counts as picking up the tenth jiggy, but it does not give me the long dance Pretty pretty good start over one Mm -hmm. uh, you should have that move right now, right? Yeah, um, the reason I could have the Beak Bomb, which is actually way later in the game, is because of the glitch I set up earlier, before the run, which is called Furnace Fun Moves. It was one of the moves I did learn on the second file, and uh, because I could transfer Banjo State over the files, I have some late game moves. Um, so this level is very special, um, this whole level is based on cycles. Okay. So this whole level is based on cycles. Uh, from the second you load this level, um, there is a cycle of clanker, uh, or clankers, that's gonna go. And it's uh, fairly important that you have decent movement throughout, because uh, every time you miss a cycle you need to wait for the next one. And if you miss a couple of them, um, it can really stack up to lose a lot of time.
So this guy is also in cycles, and if you have uh, good movement, you can perfectly timed uh, get his bubbles, which is kind of like air. I missed it, okay. So because of that ground pound I missed the cycle, but that's okay, it's not too long of a wait. I'm sorry if you guys can hear the background noise, by the way. No. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. Hello?
so this is another example of I'm abusing the deep bomb early. Uh, normally, before we used to actually just like dive down and uh, get the jiggy, because you can actually you can actually uh, skip down the picking up animation. But it's a little bit faster to just go through that room because it's pretty slow to just fly. So these spinning uh, blades would normally like have a lot of problem as a um, casual, and you probably use the gold feathers. But if you're just uh, walking on this edge, you can see where the uh, um, two um, where the two walls meet. There, you can actually just walk the whole way without getting hit a single time. Hello? Okay, his position, um, um, from um, moving in or going in the room, I'm actually having specific movement to make them be at uh, specific positions, and for some reason he was kind of off track, but wasn't too big of a deal. So, uh, because it's a long way to go back to that platform and leave the world, uh, I'm actually gonna picking up a lot of stuff, uh, and uh, my goal is to pick up a uh, empty honeycomb piece and then drown right after. And you have about two seconds to waste, and so far I haven't ever drowned here, but uh, hopefully this won't be the first. Oh. No, 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 no. I think I just lost a minute, probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, because I got the 100 notes, I need to get that again. But I need to go all the way there now and get the anti piece. piece. Damn, those are actually a fairly good pace, but, um, yeah. So it's faster just to actually wait out the time now and drown, rather than, uh, than swimming, uh, back. Might actually be able to pick up a Mumbo token here, extra, since I need to spend my time in the water anyways. Yeah. 
So at least I can save back a few seconds later. So uh, while I was opening the Clankers uh, puzzle, as you might see, before I used to pick up, put, uh, put one piece in one piece. But when you're placing the puzzle, um, you actually learn because that's when the game starts to have a lot of pieces missing. That if you press the C button, you can place them all at once. So right now I'm activating uh, this this crocodile, the golden crocodile, and there'll be a lot throughout the uh, whole um, bubble loop spawn. And I'll be uh, activating them throughout as I go. I guess it's faster than it's going for all of them at the same time. Normally I would not go for that, especially since I got an extra round, but because of the marathon, I, um, I'm just for safety gonna get a couple of extra Momo tokens. I might as well just skip a few in a later game. That is slower. If I have a lot. Over. That was really close. Um, this section is really hard to do fast, especially in Talent Fraud. Um, and I was really close to falling down there, but it's actually fairly good.
Oh dang. So coming up now is the huts, and I'll be going for a thing called a hut jump. Pretty much, um, what are you, what are you gonna do in a few of them? Uh, that is a higher. Uh, in these huts, if you ground pound, there is a chalk mount. But if you uh, do a precise timed um, jump in Talent Rod and then canceling it by pressing B uh, to do a Ratatata, you can actually make it up without breaking them. So this is what you normally should do. Oh, that was really close. So right there I jump out uh, during the uh, during the um, during the cutscene of spawning the next crocodile because I do not take falling damage from jumping down then. Another thing you saw me skip was uh, actually talking to bottles in this world because uh, I already have the moves in this world too from the preset file. Oh god, so I'm probably gonna take up my phone and write down the turtle order. Um, cause the last, the last, um, there's gonna be three cycles inside of here by singing turtles. And the last one can be really tough to remember, cause there's a lot of them. And normally you just type it down like in the chat when you're at the computer, but um, because I'm not at home, I gotta use my phone for that. Cyan yellow. What? Wasn't that the last one? Yellow, purple, cyan, purple. I forgot the red, I'm stupid. Well, that could have ended really badly if I attempt continued attempting. I just pick the time loss and see then guessing. Yeah. 
Ryan. <laughs> Rock him, please. Apparently, I have bad memory. Yeah. That's kind of a hard one to spot. Oh my... <laughs> that is not a good thing. I thought I was gonna take falling damage there, but apparently not. Spawning says why I was matching A because uh, the second I would go out, uh, he would be falling too long, so we would take fall damage and we just start flapping. Uh, actually, let's just do this because. <laughs> yeah. I did not feel like falling down again. This run is really living on edge. Four, five, six, seven points. Did he get the thing behind? Yeah, there. So what would really make this run pretty much rip is if I would lose against Mr. Wow. And hopefully it shouldn't happen, uh, especially now when you have the boots. But uh, it happens sometimes and that would <laughs> be really annoying if that would happen during this marathon. Because um, then I'd probably just skip the final notes and just finish the run 99% to be honest. To stay in estimate, but hopefully it does not happen. So, Mr. Well is has a rubber bandy effect, a rubber bandy effect, which means that uh, the more ahead I am, the better he gets, and the more behind I am, the worse he gets. So, 
Because of that, I'm just gonna collect some stuff. Uh, and he's just gonna be fairly slow, actually. Because I'm not getting anything, really. And then I'm just gonna try and catch up to him. As you can see, he's, like, extremely slow. Uh, if I'm way ahead of him... Oops. If I'm way ahead of him, he would actually be faster than me. So now is coming the third, the third one, this is the second one, and the third one is gonna switch in between these two. And what makes it really annoying is, first you can get really trolled by the timing, but then of course, this is also kind of RNG based where they spawn. Sometimes they can just like perfectly spawn in front of Mr. Wild, and if that happens, um, you can be really screwed, but I really hope that does not happen. Kind of like that just happened actually. If that like if that continuously happens, you can be really or oops, you can get really screwed by the game. Or if they go down in front of you, of course too. And to help you out too, uh, if you're like in the eating animation um, and you go over something, it will also eat. Uh, it will automatically eat it to kind of quote unquote help you. And, um, that's weird. And, uh, I'm actually gonna focus now, because I do not want to lose this. This is so distracting, guys. Okay, I got it. Sorry, guys, you didn't make it. Guys, please. <laughs> Just two guys randomly decided to try and distract me as much as possible. Standing on the side, waving and stuff, but... Yeah. So, um, right there did a death warp as well. We are doing a lot of death warps. Um, and right here, I'm not actually gonna go back and get transferred because if you leave too far away from the actual uh, world. Uh, Mumbo will um, transfer you back to Banjo, and that's way faster than going past his house. Okay. So spooky. What face? What's up? 
look so lonely, so I brought you some orange juice and candy. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I lost my seat. Damn you! There's room for everyone. Yeah. You want some candy? Ooh. Thanks. It's green. It's probably good. So because I did that, because I'm doing the FFM route, I'm actually going to be doing uh, uh, Gobies first and not doing a 2 visa to free CC Peak. Uh, I will not be attempting Gobi Clip in this run. That's uh, not. I'm just not even gonna attempt it at all. It does not save too much time if you um, if you do a little uh, change in the route uh, uh, before entering even the world because you decided you won't do it. It doesn't save too much time, and uh, that loses a lot of time uh, also if you fail it. So you might see that I had kind of a weird camera, and this is actually intentional uh, because upon it, upon Nintendo 64 works by kind of reserving memory. When something is off screen, it's usually unloaded. So I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be doing that quite a lot throughout this because those rings right there, you need to walk uh, go through them. I think it's five times, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, you do not need to do it in one um, loading, uh, like one visit. You can do it. Uh, you can walk in a loading zone and it will still have the counted, but the 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 positioning it will always spawn in is the same. So because of that, we can kind of go through the same ring many times throughout the run. I mean, that's just good for me. Oh, dang it. Everyone knows who you, who you are. Macklemore. Then you've been called Macklemore in Capsule. 
<laughs> oh, oh, I got it. Nice. So you can actually hit him while going up the second carpet, and that saves a little time. Did you get it at a thrift shop? No. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of the harder ones. Um, to get. Okay, I got it. Nice. Really? No! <laughs> that could have ended really badly. Macklemore was like distracting me. Let's blame on that. Anything Swedish? Losebatsen. I'll let you tell us on that. It's uh, like the uh, dump, garbage dump. Okay. <laughs> but I guess it could be Danish. 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 So sometimes when you beat pound through those rings, it doesn't register it. So uh, thankfully, it did at this time. <laughs> no. Oh shit, misclick. I'm supposed to press B. So normally you're supposed to um, have the speed boots here to be able to catch it. But, uh, or the Jiginan. But if you do the slope trick and climb up the wall and I fall on it, good. You can pick it up and you can even hear if you listen to the music uh, carefully. It's actually the music in the background that's playing like if you had them. Because the game is so certain that it's impossible to pick it up without it. Um, Ha <laughs> 
Oh damn, Akuja. So... Please work. Oh, so this is a... This can be really bad if I fail this again now. Oh, thank god. Okay. So that cactus takes damage extremely quickly. And what I'm doing is I'm waiting for the mummy hand to go up. And uh, I want him to hit me. And it will give me a, reco a damage recoil. And it will land on top of it. God dang it, Planks. Oh, no, no, no. What? How could I make it? <laughs> I'm surprised in a good way. I should not have made that. I was really bad. So I'm not. I'm gonna walk with a weird camera too, because after I'm, gonna, I'm I race the pyramid another time, I'm gonna be going through the ring uh, uh, the last time. So are you guys excited for Yoki Lily? Did you have the beta? Uh, no. Yeah, no. No, I haven't bought him the beta. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like I kind of prefer playing in games. So, this is kind of a maze, and a small part here of this wall you can actually uh, jump off because it's a slope instead of just like a wall. So if I can get up on it, I can jump up on the maze. And I can skip most of it. And right there was a witch witch, which you technically should get. Um, but if you remember before I entered Gobi's Valley, uh, I just rolled into a mummy statue. And you could actually, then I actually picked up a jiggy through the, the wall. So then you need to hit it. It takes quite a lot of time. So that was a quick dive. Two. I'm actually not going to do the beak bomb in the end of this uh, world. I'm probably just going to go really safe. Um, because if I would miss it, I would take a damage, and I would miss four notes, so I need to redo the whole place. So it works the same way as here, uh, like if, if you're flying when you have these boots on. Uh, if I pick up a Jiggy, I do not have the animation of picking it up. And that's really important right now, since it's the 10th one. Right here I could Beak Bomb, which I would do in a normal run, but... Um, if you would miss it and hit the wall, you just actually die, and... Uh, that's like 10 minutes, <laughs> so... Uh, Oh, 
pr pretty good Gobi, to be honest. No major mistakes. That's one of the hard levels, so I'm pretty happy I got past that. So right now I'm going to unlock Mad Monster Mansion, uh, but I'm actually not gonna enter right straight away. I'm going to be going into um, Free Sissy Peak first, but it makes more sense with the uh, with the route. Let's open it right now. Uh, no, SSJ. 100% uh, running in this game is actually fairly long. Um, uh, if you do a, a, an 90% run, um, we have a couple of skips, but if you do a casual at any percent uh, without doing any major glitches, you actually need to get close to all two keys and notes. Uh, you need to get, like, I think it's 910 notes and something like that. So, um, because of that, there's a very small difference from 100% and 90%. I mean, you can skip, like, six keys. Yeah. Uh, there is a huge skip, uh, to skip the Grunty Door, so you can actually skip, like, 20, 30, uh, jiggies. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't run 90%, but, um, and it's not very Ren Kagari because there's such a small difference, and because of the glitches, it's really hard. Um, most people just run 100%. Actually, my mistake, I'm doing Mob Master Medicine first. I was mixing up the worlds. Really close to falling down there. The TV was pretty dark and uh, you can't really see a lot in that area. Yeah, 94 Portuguese, so that's like... And the maximum, if you guys don't know, is... Uh, it's 900 notes and 100 jiggies. It makes you wonder why they bothered having six non man three jiggies at all. Dreamhack has been great. There's been a lot of uh, good speedruns, and uh, if you're interested in esports, then there's a lot of esport things uh, like Dota. There is Counter Strike, Hearthstone, Smash. So there's been a lot going on. 
you do not get stop and swap in 100%, uh, that you only get that really in the, uh, it's actually called like 100% plus stop and swap, it's not a, uh, it's not a, uh, true category. Because, um, you can actually get a one per, one time, uh, for each card. You can technically, uh, screw up the cartridge and take out the battery. Um, but otherwise, you can't really do it more than once. And it's not really fun anyways, like, there is one or two new areas to go to, but except that, it's pretty much just like... Yeah, you just be in a uh, song castle and like, type in a lot of codes, and it's really boring to be honest. That room is almost scary to do as a speedrunner because we go for those shares first. Um, if you touch the ground at all, uh, he will wake up and uh, you need to go through the chimney again. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Benny won the SM64 race that was on right before this. Uh, and. Uh, I think he had like a 56 and Benny had a 52, yep. if I'm not mistaken. The memes. <laughs> Bro, get on my level. <laughs> Those are back as first. Damn. Can you please banjo? Oh. What? I didn't even touch it! He must have been like on the edge of the fix or something like that. That's ridiculous. Who, uh, what's, what happened? Uh, what's this is? What? 1-1? One, one. Holds the stats in the second game. Oh. So what's the third map? My eye on you. So is the game any closer? The second one. That's actually fairly good. Flip the. Um, I probably lost like at least three, four runs to this place. Uh, because of how stupid the game works with the, the recoil, if you get damaged, like no matter where you are, or no matter like what the enemy it is, you can actually like literally become like a uh, like a ping ping pong, like just like go in between them, like recoil into them, and it's like damage after damage because the invisibility frames is really short in this game. Nope. Okay. The Zero Star is finished already, yes, they did uh, move it, because Chrisim was uh, going away for a Twitch event, or uh, to Twitch party, 
and uh, because of that he wanted to do it before my run, and uh, it was only 10 minutes, so it just didn't really matter. Oops. Ah. Oh. So you can do the same thing I did in Mumbo's Mountain if you've been there the whole run by picking up the Jiggy in midair and then when you enter the water you don't need to watch that animation. Sadly I failed it but it's not too big of a deal. So uh I did not like this one one life. It does not feel safe at all. And what's next, planks? What's next, game? Okay. Yeah. So it's Metroid Zero Mission. Um, and yeah, and that's the last run of the marathon, so I hope you guys are hyped for that. So you can act, um, the, the keynotes here is actually always the same, and uh, I have a picture of uh, the order at home, but I do not know it in my head, um, I haven't been in that game for that long, so I'm just gonna go safe and just wait. Oh my god. Oh, it was one. I did it once early. Hello, camera? <laughs> Sometimes, uh, can't, it's gonna. Wait a little bit. Um, they did make the. This game has been re released, if you guys don't know, on the Xbox, uh, the Xbox One, um, the Rare Replay, and also on Xbox 360 through Xbox Arcade. Uh, and they did make the game a hell of a lot easier. Um, one big difference is that if I would die right now, uh, you see I have 74 notes. If I would die right now, I would have zero notes, and I need to get all the 74 notes as that, and then start collecting again. Uh, which they did make easier by saving your notes for the Xbox versions. So I heard I'm doing kind of a recall trick I actually haven't done before in my run, I don't think. Uh, how it works is that the jump out of a ground pound uh, for some reason does not take any falling damage. So if I ground pound and then I go off the ledge, I just drop down. Are the glitches still there for Xbox? Uh, yes, the glitches that uh, are in this game exist in the Xbox version. There is a few things that is patched, but... Um, uh, specifically, for example, uh, the Xbox version is the the 1.1 version, so you cannot do Terramite skip. You can also not skip text, which we do by holding L, R, and pressing B. So it's not very fast for speedrunning either.
But the, um, if you can, you should definitely pick up this game. Uh, um, I know many people remember Banjo, especially 2, to be really laggy on the, uh, and I'm going a little safer, by the way, uh, being really laggy. Uh, the game is actually not very laggy at all. Uh, the Banjo, Banjo uh, Kisui, as Banjo 2. So, and, um, it's pretty, to be honest, if you have a, either a, uh, if you either have a modded, I do not trust this. If you have a modded uh, uh, N64, or if you just buy like an Espedo cable without even modding it at all, you can actually get a great graphics. Oops. Really? <laughs> okay. That was like a, that was a that was, yeah. That was all planned. <laughs> Come on guys. So, um, I actually want to pick up the Jiggy as the pumpkin, because then I don't have the uh, animation. The glitch that, the newest glitch was discovered, um, which is FFM. Which is FFM. Um, I was supposed to go in there, I'm stupid. Um, that actually also still works in Xbox. It was uh, found, like, I think it was the same day or the day before the Rare Replay came out. So it was really cool timing. But they did not patch it. FFM stands for Furnace Fun Moves, which is uh, what allowed us to have all the moves on the new file. Feels pumpkin man. <laughs> Fucking flippy. This is 100% FFM. Uh, we do not have. We did have a voting in the community, and uh, FFM is allowed, so it's not a specific uh, it's dead, come at, uh, category. Don't. Okay, good. Well, I kept strands. <laughs> Could actually die here by this ghost. For be really unlucky. <sighs> nah, this run sucks. Screw this run. <sighs> Start a new run, guys. Sorry, Planks. We might be behind schedule now.
Why was he paid to reset? Of course, dude. Sell out percents. Max experience now. Um, yeah, we actually this is like the fourth or fifth event we got invited to speedrunning. Uh, it's kind of bigger now than the the first year and the second, but uh, it's really cool. If you guys are at Tree Mac, you can check us out in this E hall or the streaming areas. So this is another way to take advantage of how the game was programmed because the N64 to reserve memory. So because uh, p things get unloaded, if it's off screen, um, they can just jump by because the enemies get deloaded. Nice. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Took so much effort. You stand up and everything. Bro. Get off. Are you serious? So you need to go through the star three times, so what are you going to do the second time now? I just failed it. <laughs> it's, um, you're going to go through it and ride at the same time as you went through it for the second time. You're going to ground pound and go back for the recall. That was a little early, but uh, I did not mess up the movement, so I can just do it again. Not too big of a problem. I'm actually really good on feathers, so... So there is a jiggy in this pipe, and if you fly up and you do a big bomb right after, you can actually pick it up through the wall. Please pick up the mambo token. Yeah. Sometimes uh, when you go directly into it, uh, it just, he just goes straight through it. Controller has three hands, uses one. Yeah. <laughs> I better hope it's good than Ellie. Can you please banjo? There we go. <laughs> what? Dude, it almost happened again. <laughs> A nice hitbox, dude. Never, no, the meme. I never, it's never happened. Like everything that goes wrong in the speed run, never happened before. And guessing the camera is just very far down, and dude, 
Like everything else, it gets deloaded. Or unloaded. You should really try it. Pinky, it's an amazing game. Too good. Bro. This guy is, does not want to die. So many of these snowmen actually has like pretty much shit in them, but um, an example of Witch Witch, we don't need that here either, because we're going to be abusing the uh, the Beak Bomb after the use of Flap, or a Wing Gun, but uh, you actually get, a ri 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 you actually get rewarded by a Jiggy if you kill them all. I totally attended. No washing machine. There's actually every time you do a transformation, uh, there's a one in forty chance that you actually become a washing machine, which is like a meme that uh, Rare put in for like absolute no reason. Yeah. You can actually, um, if you do some secrets, secrets, you can actually find an Easter egg so you can play around as the washing machine. So I don't want to be too good at this race, I'm just going to relax, because this guy, just like Wild, has the rubber bunny effect, that if I'm uh, good, he uh, he's pretty much good, so I'm just going to be really slow and uh, just going to take his time. And I want to collect a few things uh, throughout the race, so because of that I'm going to be behind him to make him slow, and then just go really fast. Um, specifically as Banjo, if you do as good as you can. It can actually get like close to impossible to beat him, and then if you like go super fast the whole way. Oh, dude, no. Save strats. Okay, so now you guys know how that works, the way haze. So, for the next race, I expect everyone to spam the crap out of the way haze throughout the whole race. So then we can maybe get the uh, record in Tremac, the most Wahays in a shot throughout a minute. There's actually a Wahay bot, but I don't think they have set that up to <laughs> the Tremac speedrun channel. Did not sub. <laughs> Freaking trolls. Uh. 
The Benny subs. Cup boys. Cup, cup, cup. Remember kids, don't take presents from strange beers. A cup for you anytime. Nice dude. Actually a fairly decent run so far. The only real mistake was drowning in uh, clankers, but otherwise that's it's pretty good. Okay, I hope you guys um, have the way on the control C because it's gonna come up any second, guys. Now's the time you're actually gonna spam it. That is so fast, nobody knows I'm gay. Sorry, bro. I know. <laughs> this shot. Come on, guys. You can do it a little more. We haven't done enough good job unless someone gets globaled in the shot. Go, guys. Go. And stop. <laughs> Cute anime girl. Come for So nah, normally we do get this during the race, but kind of uh, kind of got this now to be safe because if you lose the race is almost like a minute oh, 
Ice key. No, it's already taken. God dang it. So it's intended for you to actually uh, go into Mamba and transfer and go through this cave, but um, you can just pr uh, barely do a one-way visit. So I'm just gonna be doing a death warp when I'm done now. So... So right there, what I did is the same trick as I did with the um, with the pipe uh, that I just um, clipped through with the beak bomb and picked up the jiggy. Normally, uh, you would hit the witch switch, and uh, it would open. If you wonder how we get it casually. So coming up now is. One of the most annoying mat levels in game history. So the music is actually very decent in this uh, world. Uh, the thing that this is most known for is the uh, engine room. The engine room is, it's not glitchy, but it's just extremely unforgivable, I guess you can say. Uh, one small mistake and you will fall to your death. Thankfully, with the, with the current route, it's fairly early. So you don't need to redo a lot of the level if you do fail it. But it's still really annoying. Carl, are you watching the game? What's the score? Okay. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks with the memes. Really? Oh, I, I was in, dude. Bro, rip the cycle. I thought I didn't get in, so I walked out again.
So not only is this end is the engine room really annoying, we are also gonna go while everything is spinning, which makes it even more risky. So right here is the uh, is the hardest part. So I told you guys before about how the recall works in this game, and that can really mess us up right now, because one fail and we get recalled out like that. Four deaths. Hopefully not. Yeah, I know. Really? Don't worry guys, we're like right back there. It's not a... It's not a big mistake. If the pipes is... Yeah, so Martin, uh, what Martin is saying pretty much is um, you can technically save it uh, by getting a good angle. So I was setting up an angle, it was not very good. But if you set up a good angle uh, and you get hit, even in the back, you don't always die. Spooky. Too spooky for me. Okay. Let's get it the second time. One down. One to go. Silent clap us. Now we need to get out. Got it. Nice. Please. So right here is uh, gonna be a really easy clip. Uh, for some reason, um, if you walk in, be uh, in between the window and the ledge there, the game will just pop you through. Which is convenient for us, but uh, it's kind of a weird clip. It's not really any, like you could technically get that in cash playthrough. Honestly, just not doing any inputs except walking against the wall. If you're really lucky, you can pop uh, like pop through like for a second. You go against it. God. This TV is fairly dark, but it's not a long section that is dark, so I should be fine. Oh god, okay. <laughs> At least I... Oops, come on. Really? I just... <laughs> there you go. Going now is a pretty cool um, trick. This is actually a boss skip. So there's a uh, a box, and every time you hit him, he multiplies to more and more boxes. 
<laughs> that would be a long time loss. And, uh... He actually loads before you go into the cutscene. So what you can do is you can actually hit him with an egg before going into the cutscene itself. And, um, pretty much there's this box here. And when you get close to it, he will eat up a Jiggy right there. But if you hit him before, the cutscene won't load and the Jiggy won't eat it up. So I can just pick it up right there. And that saves quite a lot of time because they multiply like two, three more times. I just wanted to be sure I did not forget anything. A really annoying thing, which uh, especially if you are a casual, if you, if you tried 100% this game, what many people, like what one of the hardest things is when the, in the end game where the worlds became really big, is if you end up just missing like one or two notes, uh, you need to go through the whole level again, because you can't really just take up a map and see where you're missing or something. Or what notes you take taken. There's not too much stuff going on right now. It's kind of just going and collecting your thing. So you can actually, uh, with a very precise jump, pick that up right there without breaking it. It saves a few seconds. I attempt like once, but if I don't get a first jump, it's really only saves a so few seconds that it's not even worth attempting again. Oops, what am I doing? Sorry that I'm gonna have the camera like this because there is extremely much lag here and even though there is gonna be lag every time I hit it you might see this when I jump it helps a little bit Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, it's uh, that's just kind of a tradition. That a lot of things. It's not specifically to us. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Guys, do it. Good luck on the, on the restaurant. Hope you Thank enjoy you. the orange juice. Yeah, I sure will. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I do not want to get killed by that guy. Dying now would be really bad because we are four notes away from being done. Paradox, get in the couch. Everyone welcome Paradox to the couch. Hi. Whoa, I cannot see where I'm going. This TV is so dark. Well, I really don't want to drown, so let's just like take loose 10 seconds right here. Uh, no. This is, uh, I'm done in like one minute with this level. But when I'm swimming, it's like close to impossible to see where I'm actually going. Otherwise, I'm good. Playing the team like everyone else does. <laughs> yeah, for once. That's what they always say. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Chris? I didn't see you there. Oh, why did I get pick up the hearts? Uh, I mean, when it comes. I guess that works. Thank you for delaying my death mode. It's so only one level left, and that is Click Like Wood. It's probably, in my opinion at least, the hardest level in the game. But hopefully it will go okay. Yeah, if you miss anything, you can already know where you missed it. Yeah. And there's a lot of uh, things in the later season, especially like winter, that is quite easily to die on, because you usually go around with um, quite a little uh, HP. And... Uh, yeah. Who's Link is anyway? Uh, that's that guy. Oh wait, is Luminosity choking the last game? Paradox? Do you know? So what I'm trying to do 
which does not go well. So I'm trying to back flip up on the leaf instead of going around. So now I'm just walking kind of blind, waiting for the camera to catch up. Nine four. What map? And what side is? Do you know if they're T T sided? That's pretty bad. This is actually the second last run of the marathon. The next one is going to be a Metroid Zero Zero Mission, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So he's hype it up. Hi. Hi, Dad. What's up? <laughs> when the runner is more interested in CHO than his run. It's the finals, okay? Yeah. On my left, also have a. Uh, I think it's Matrix. So um, I have a lot of distractions. Was the guy even released when BK was released? I think it's the same year, actually. Was it '98? I think it's '98. So same year. Good movie. Shame we didn't get any sequels. Yeah. Okay. So let's see how this goes. It's really easy. Um, Sans Olshu, actually, I haven't been really like doing runs and attempts for like close to a month now. I haven't and I haven't really practiced. It's really easy when you take breaks uh, to mess up the route because if you don't know Click Lockwood, it's actually kind of the same level, but it's four different seasons. So if you're not an actor runner, it is fairly easy as a new runner to um, mix up the routes and forget anything because you might think, oh, that's for the next season. You pretty much have to know exactly how much you need to do everything before you get to the next season. Yes. Thank you, Escalator. So this is kind of, this is a very long process because it's a hundred percent, we need to get everything. And this is, um, Eagle and, uh, yeah. So, um, every season we're gonna come and, uh, feed him. And uh, as a reward, finally, we'll actually poop out a Jiggy. So, uh, pretty gross, but it's a Jiggy, so who cares? I also do not have the uh, a laptop with me, so I don't have the furnace fan calculator. So, hopefully, the RNG will treat us, will treat us well. Paradox. Dude, Twitch plays for fun, that would be horrible. People just click A all the time to like troll pick. 
so I remember that it's 16 notes I want to have, so I know for sure I'm good for the first season. But it's also the easiest one. Really hard. I need to hold down a C right. Pretty hard. Please hit MLG. Oh man. Martin. I mean, I'm not here to bring you a rock room, just here to entertain you guys and show off a good run. So this can actually lose you a lot of time because these leaves are really, really finicky and the hitboxes are not the greatest. So you can actually get this, um, you can actually get the, uh, the, uh, the Jiggy in the side of the towers in this season, but it's a pretty precise jump, and if you fail it, you fall all the way down, so, I mean, it's gonna get it next season, um, and only it wastes, like, probably five seconds, so, it doesn't matter too much. Oh, no, 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 uh, brain fart. <laughs> I 
when an oats him out? 34. Sounds fine. Hopefully I'm fine. Thanks, Abel. I don't have many notes in you for the next season, so... Uh... I know if I forgot anything there, then. This is probably the hardest, the longest season. Uh, winter, uh, winter ha doesn't have as much stuff, but uh, there is a couple of places where it's really easy to just fall off. And if you fall off when you're high up, you almost always die. And because it's the last season, you would need to redo everything. If I would by accident fall down, I'd probably just finish it the run anyways, and I'd redo the whole thing. But um. Let's have the mindset that I'm not gonna die. Yeah. No one will notice. Dark TV for the win. So this is the Jiggy I could have gone last season, but I'm gonna get it now instead. Uh, it's a lot safer. Yeah, so Gobi walks off to uh, Fire Mountain, which was a deleted level in Banjo Kazooie. Um, but they actually took it back in Banjo Tooie. So you see him again in Banjo Tooie. Oh my god. <laughs> that could have ended really badly. Um, I've said it many times before of how we abuse it, but also how it can be annoying. Uh, the recoil, how it's uh, how it's really strong in this game. Uh, if you get hit at the wrong angle there, you would just recoil off the ledge, and you're just gonna fall down and take the falling damage, and that could've might as well killed it. Conqueror's cousin. Oh, really? Come on. Oh, 
Yeah, it's a little lag, uh, click lock wood because it's building upwards, uh, and there's a lot of things on screen. There's a couple of areas where it can feel lag, but, um, um, it's not, like, bad enough that it's annoying to play. A couple of areas, for, for example, in, uh, Tui, when it's a lot of- oh god, no, 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 no. <laughs> when there's a lot of stuff on the screen. That was real close, clutch. Um... You can almost feel like it's hard, annoying to play, and you can even eat your inputs, but um, that's not a real issue here. I'm guessing Fnatic 1, maybe? You run 14-7? Wait, Fnatic has 14? Is Fnatic 14? not here but thank you for that it's pretty good the music in this game is really good it's made by uh, Brand Kirko and uh, he's known to make really good game music Some areas there when there's a lot of shadows, it's really hard to see, but not too much. Also, the court, we don't really want to go to it because the courts are a little glitchy. So, looking at the note score, I think we actually got everything, so... We should be good. One more season and we're done. Come on, bro. The upper sun is so good every time. win I'm guessing how many 23 let's just get this for safety I don't need more gold feather hello damn ripped underdogs did a good job still HDQ is the first, is the next speedrun event, I'm pretty sure. And it is from the 2nd to the 10th, I think. Or 9th, something like that. Around that date, at least. Most people are at least around the event. Can you. Oh! Dang it. Uh, it's not too big of a deal. Uh, I just need to climb this up now. 
Yeah. Third? I thought I saw it second, but okay. This guy uh, kind of quote unquote predicts your moves, but he shoot a little like if I walk to right, it will shoot a little more of right of where I am. So um, they can actually they're actually fairly good snipers. So um, coming up uh, after this is Ice Clip. And Ice Cup is a extremely easy trick, but for some reason, sometimes it does not work. This has happened to me once, because I was always shit talking people, being like, how can you fail Ice Clip? It just hold down an analog stick. But it can happen to anyone. It's, uh, as far as I know, random. It just like sometimes doesn't work. So if that would happen in this run, I'm probably really depressed, but. Uh, Hopefully, it yeah, it'll work. <laughs> no, no way. No way. No way. No way. There is no way. <laughs> there is no way. <laughs> Uh, does someone change to a banjo kazoo any percent, please? Uh, Keep my spot. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> That's so. Oh my god. That's so rare. There is no way that happened. <laughs> There's no way. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, you can see any percent. <laughs> Guys, I think this is a record. We're record pace for any percent speedrun. Oh, they're not. Pay attention. Yeah, it will lose 20 minutes, and uh, because that's the last thing, I can just finish it anyways. Just gonna continue. If you're gonna highlight from this marathon, that's a highlight. Wait, what? Oh, it's free CC peak. I'm stupid. Oh. <laughs> I hope you. It's not too loud. Why did I... Whatever, it's going safe. I'm really lucky. Okay, so these are grunty questions. It's random every time you start a new file. 
And you can actually use a calculator to try and um, make it easier. Which I don't have a laptop in my lap, as you can see, so... Is it pot? I cannot hear that. Please? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Playing safe. <laughs> okay, I got a pretty fast one, though. Yeah. So I guess, uh, just to kind of explain quickly then, so Ice Scoop is pretty much this very old trick, and just for some reason, if you're in that corner and you swim and you hold it down on analog, so you simply, just, you simply, everything you do is you swim up into the ice, and you just randomly pop through, and I think, like, a really top three runner, someone said it happened to them, like, twice in their, like, all the runs. I'm a fairly new runner, and I was really unlucky, because I actually had that happen once, when I was really new to the game. So that that happened during a marathon is, it's, like, it's really, it's extremely rare. Do not know that. Okay, last RNG question. Okay, so let's not fail this. Please work. Got it, nice. So that is Furnace Fun Skip, or Arb Skip as some people call it. So those uh, those are death blocks, and if you answer a death block wrong, it will shoot you down in the lava. But if you stand on a few pixels on that, it will shoot you upright, but you'll be actually landing on the puzzle. And normally, it will be invisible walls around every, um, around every, yeah, triangle. So, to be, to the game for be able to actually kill you, it deactivates all of those invisible walls when they kind of shoot you down. But of course, we land up there and we don't actually fall down and die. We can simply uh, just go through the whole thing and skip. So normally, I always get double lives here. I cannot do that because I'm missing one piece. Um, because I couldn't get anything. So. Uh, did not even open that. So hopefully I don't die to Prince Elva, cause uh, it's not impossible. Wait, did I forget to unlock the? Yeah. We should change the title to 99% people don't get the any percent time. <laughs> no, don't. Don't worry guys, this is a great any percent run. Oh, wow, really?
Why did she like stop right there? No! Stand and shoot. Thank you. Dude. This is like task fight, literally. Uh. Yes. Okay. Ouch. <laughs> One more. I have a f really strong feeling on Dido because the last fight or the last phase is pretty annoying. No, 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 no. safer. I just gonna wait for the green shots. Not worth time. And time. time. Okay, it, it works. Okay, good. Yeah. Pretty okay, Ron. Uh, except that um, it became a 99% because of the ice clip fail. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the run still. Um, um, if you guys want to see more banjo runs or speed runs in general, you can check out my channel, Link is 7. I pretty much do daily streaming, so um, yeah. I hope you all see in my stream and um, enjoyed the last run of the marathon. It's going to be Metroid Zero. Yeah, Zero Mission. So yeah, see you guys. Have a good one.